Jim Snoop Shave today. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing pretty good because I'm doing pretty good too. So if you hear stuff in the background, they're tearing up the road over here. There's like a dip or something. So we got construction for like the entire week. So if you hear like beep, beep, <laughs> jackhammers and stuff, that's what it is. Hopefully you won't be able to hear it. But yeah, so let's get into this brush we're going to be going with. We're going to be going with my Richmond Shaving Dragon Fury 26 millimeter S2 Innovator, not flames. Yes, I thought flames would be cool burning ships today. What are you talking about? Yeah, so this is a brush we're going to be using. My Richmond Shaving Dragon's Fury brush. Very cool. So, soaking in the lather be shaving mix. Lather be shaving. Do, 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 do. Let's put that in. I already had the ball to do that. So, we're just going to have that soak. 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 Stroke me. Stroke me. Say you're winning, but man, you're just a sinner now. Eminem sampled that one. That's pretty good, though. Anyways. Razor we're going with, same exact razor we used last shave, except for it's not seven days growth, it's Friday, 9.42, Friday, six days worth of growth. DOC Evolution Illuminous, Illuminous again, going with this razor. Once again, yes, thought it matched pretty well, so, color-wise. Blade, same blade, we're gonna go with the same exact blade again. I got a hundred pack of these, and I like these, these are awesome. So we're gonna go with it again, we're going with it again, and that's black and red too, Woo! Yeah, do, 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 do. single wrapped. But these are nice blades. I like these blades. These are really good. I think I got these pifts from one. Pift these to me or something. I don't remember how I got the first tuck of them. But they turned out really good and I liked them. So about a hundred of them. If I do, that's like a hundred weeks worth of shave. If you just do one, if you do like one shave a week, like usually what I do, I try to do two a week, but it's hard. So I usually do just one shave a week. That's a hundred shaves right there. That's like easy. I got a ton of blades too. So, all right, we got her loaded up in there. You can see her little jaws. Dun, 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 dun. Hopefully she don't cut me. It was a very, very good shave last week with her. So please don't cut me, baby. All right, so let's get into this bowl we're gonna be using. Going with the Peretta bowl again. That's my go-to bowl I've been using. All right, here we go with the new stuff. This is from Hoffman's Shave and Shave Company. This is their very first soap and splash set um, that they've come out with. This is their first set. It sold out twice. I got it on the second drop. I think it's still available. They did do a third drop. They also do have another one out right now. Not very many left called Merlin. And they also have another one called coming up uh, sometime in August. Uh, the Great Reset. Yeah. So this is based on old, old Schultz. Old Spice Schulten Formula scent. And I thought, yeah, I like Old Spice. I'm an Old Spice fan, and I got it. I believe it's a collaboration with Hendrix Classics and Company. Burn the ships. And, yeah, very cool. Smells really good. If you like Old, if you like old Spice and that old school Schulten, you'd love this. Hard soap. So, yeah, the scent profile is top, uh, top is nutmeg, lemon, orange, star anise, and aldehyde. It's middle. Carnation, jasmine, geranium, cinnamon, heliotrope, and pimento. Base notes are ambergris, synthetic, benzoin, cedar, vanilla, tonka bean, and musk. Now, they came up with the name with this because the phrase burning the ships dates from 1519 when a Spanish expedition led by Hernan Cortez landed in Mexico. Mexico. Cortez knew his crew had already were, was already exhausted after a long sea journey, but he had to motivate them to succeed in the new land. So he ordered the scuttling of the ships they arrived in. The ships burned. No turning back now. Uh, burn the ships could mean several things to several different people. Dot, dot, dot. For us, it's the aspirations of burning it all down and starting over. A metaphor for a fresh, clean slate with no turning back to your haunted past. Now, you can take that another way. It's shaving. It's like burn the ships, you know. It's shaving. <laughs> you got your hair, shave it off, you start all over again. So, yes, that's it. Is that all I got? Yeah, you guys gotta stick to the uh, end for the splash and stuff because it came with some other cool stuff that you guys see this so see in the thumbnail so yeah Schulten formula let me get this all loaded up and put out a bowl and right back burn the witches burn the witch well i mean burn the ships is <laughs> if you guys know Mary, old school Marilyn Manzi, you know what song that is anyways yes 
Lathered up pretty nice. I think I might have put too much water because there's a lot of bubbles. My fault. But yeah, it lathered up really nice. So, Chris used too much water? What? He never used too much water. Anyway. Anyway. With the face. WTF. It's not Wednesday. <laughs> the guy I follow on uh, Facebook. He's a magician called uh, Dan Sperry. It's like goth looking. He was on America's Got Talent, blah, blah, blah. Uh, PA Mentholated Cube, Ice Cube 2.0. And he used to do this live show on Wednesdays on Facebook, on his Facebook channel called WTF Wednesdays. <laughs> yeah, you know what that means, right? What the Wednesday? Do, 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 do. Boop, boop, boop. Anyways. 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 <laughs> Daddy. How y'all doing today? It's Friday. Doing a Friday shave instead of a Saturday shave. Construction worker guy stopped. It's quiet. <laughs> yeah, Friday. Saturday break. Sunday always comes too late. Friday never comes too late. I don't care if Sunday's Monday's blue, Tuesday's gray, and Wednesday too. Thursday, I don't care about you. It's Friday. I'm in love. Care? <sighs> All right, here we go. Boop. All right. Do 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 do. Oh. Uh. Do, do, do. Okay, get this going. Yeah, it lathered up really, really easy. Like I just scooped it a little bit, put it in the bowl. A little bit too much water, and good job, Chris. It's not a bad thing, though. Oh, it does got a nice scent. It's got a nice scent, though. And like I said, this is this company's very first um, release. So they're very new on the market. Oh, where'd it go? Hoffman's Shave Company. Like I said, they have this one. This is sold. This sold out t uh, two times already. It does. It's still. I think it's still on there for a third set, or for, yeah, for a third, for a t third time around. So yeah, if you like Old Spice, you like that old Shelton scent, I think you like this. Mm -mm. I'm just flinging it everywhere, so. Refair. Rasta Coulter. All right. All right, baby. Pass number one. Here we go. Like I, yeah. Like just like the last video. Crazy, crazy feedback on this razor. But I thought... This razor color matches, and it was a good shave last time with the with the Lord Blade, cool Lord Cool Blade. Why not do it again? Why not? Oh yeah, very good. It's got residual slickness to it, and yeah, this razor just chops it off. So ah, if that bowl falls off the counter, it don't matter. It's unbreakable. Ooh. Yep, six days growth. Gone. Mm. Mm. Nothing. I'm not talking, I'm concentrating a little bit. Really don't want to chop myself up with this right here. Even though I know how to use it, it could be just that one cocky time where you're like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. Duh. <laughs> 
Alrighty, so let's go here. Pretty much the one pass shavener. Anybody watching? Do you guys have this razor? Any of my subscribers? My loyal subscribers. <laughs> Now, some of y'all been with me since like the very, very, very beginning when I had like 15 subscribers. Like, <laughs> that's cool. Awesome. Loyalty. These Lord Blade, these Lord Cool Blades are really good. I find them efficient. Forgiving. They're sharp, but they're not like crazy feather sharp, so. And they work pretty good in a lot of different razors for me. Man, IG's blowing up today. Get the notifications like right here. Do a little bit more soap on the chin. I'll just leave that part. <laughs> no. This has got a really nice, nice scent. And it's I think it's pretty dang cool too for this company being their first release as a brand new company. Selling out like that. That's pretty awesome. Crazy feedback, huh? Yeah, it's got so much flipping blade exposure. Blade exposure, it's freaking unbelievable. But yeah, I could not use this as a daily driver. I mean, maybe if someone out there has like really, really coarse, thick hair, then this could be like your daily uh, one weaver. But me, no. Because <laughs> I'd be looking like this. I can't. All right, we're gonna do one more pass, and then we're good. Just on the cheeks and like this right here. Sometimes I miss that right there. But other than that, no. Yeah, you do not need like a second or third pass with this razor. I personally don't. And I've used it several times, so. Kind of might know what I'm talking about. Maybe. All right, that's two. Shave your head with it. No. <laughs> Doing your haircut is getting long. Think about doing that flame thing again. The flame hair I had before. Just gotta find a new uh, beautician to do it. Cause my beautician, she quit. So, if she comes back, that'd be awesome. If she comes back, I'd be like, hey, hook it up girl. Do the same thing we did last time. Come on. <laughs> yeah. You guys seen my previous videos when I did have that like flame in hair? That took like, Took a couple hours to do that. Well, for her, I didn't do anything. I just sat there and let her do her work. But yeah, it took like a couple hours for her to get my hair to do it like that. And it looked pretty damned awesome. I thought about doing like purple and green before or whatever. Yeah, purple and green. Let's do the flame thing again. A lot of people thought it was cool. A lot of people liked it. I liked it. it my idea. Anyway. Okay, so 
very good, very close, very smooth. No problem area, ain't nothing here. That's a weird spot, Chris, but yeah. Very smooth, sticky smooth, yes. Nice, good scent. All right, very close. Clean up and right back. All right, cool, I'm back. Yeah, cleaned up very, very nice. Just water, cold water. Have one weeper there, <laughs> one there. Problem area, nothing. Very damn good shape. Smells good. Really awesome. PL. Wow, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Rubber band. <laughs> All right, I think that's enough aluminum. I think that's enough aluminium block. All right. So, what it also came with, which is kind of cool. And it says Hoffman Shave Company on here. It came with this like satchel, burlap type satchel. And what was in it was the splash. And also it came with, very cool touch I thought was pretty awesome. Ships and stuff. Came with these like fake coins, plastic fake coins. There's a couple of them you guys see in the thumbnail. And yeah, it came with like a couple gems, you know, pirate ship, you know, our treasure, you know. Very cool touch. I think that's awesome. Little touches like that. I like stuff like that. I like little details like that. Like candy and stuff and like Halloween. Yeah. Very, very cool. Right. Good job, guys. Nice touch. So what we're going to be using is Hopman Shave Company, Hendrix Classic and Company, 100 millimeter. Burn the Ships EDT and After Shave Splash. So this is an EDT as well. Uh, ingredients, SDA 40B. I'll let you guys see that. Like, enough reading, Chris. <laughs> Shut up. Anyways, yeah. Shake it up. Shake, shake, shake. I think you shake it up, right? Oh, yeah, on the bottom. There's stuff on the bottom. I remember I read that. It says, splash, shake, 100 millimeters, 100 proof, alcohol, and the rest of that. For yeah, so we shake it up. We're using. Burning down the ships. My ships. Do -do -do. Too bad talking heads will never be talking heads ever again. Pete Burns. Yeah. No. Is that his name? Lead singer. Oh, this smells good. Yes, I'm an old spice. I'm an old spice fan, so. Yes, this smells really, really good. We're using more of it. Yeah, I know I'm rubbing it in, whatever. I know you're just supposed to pat, who cares? It's my face, I do what I do. <laughs> ah. Very nice good scent though. Like I said, it's supposed to be made after the old uh, Shulton Old Spice scent. There's no menthol in it, there's nothing, anything like that. So it's just straight old school smell. So, oh, it smells good, I like it. I like it a lot. All right, recap of what we used today. We used <sighs> Hoffman's Shave Company, Hendrix Classics Collaboration, Burn the Ships, EDT, and After Shave Splash. Very, very cool looking. Also used P. Allen Black. Used my Rich Man Shaving, Dragon Fury 26mm S2 Innovator, not brush. And we're burning the ships, so yeah, it's flaming. Also used my PA DOC Evolution Illumina 7075 Beard Slayer First Use Lord Cool Blades. Check these out. Even if you don't buy a hundred of them and you can find just like five pack tuck of them, try them. Check these out. These are pretty damn good. They work for me. I like them. And yeah, I'm glad about a hundred of them. So very good blade. Paired well. That cleaned up like nothing. Very damn good shave. So damn fine shave. Put in a bowl. We soaked our brush in the Lallaby Shaving Coffee Cup. Do 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 do. Uh, you guys see Nessa in there? Got my bear treasure. And star of the show. Wait, we also use PA Ice Cube 2.0. Off camera scooped with the intergalactic shave base thing. Stuff 
Start of the show, Hoffman's Shave and Shave Company. Burn the ships. Cool label. I don't know, is that the sun coming up? It looks like either the sun coming up or sun going down, maybe. I don't know. Got that skull back there. Very cool looking label, though. Yes. First, this is their first release as a brand new company. And it's doing very well. It's sold out twice. I still think it's their... Um, I still think they have it um, on their website for the third release of it. Merlin's out now. I haven't tried that one. I watched Marcus Zaretti's video of it this morning. And I've heard nothing but good things about uh, Merlin as well. So that's a nice good scent. And then they're going to be coming out sometime in August. A uh, great reset. I don't know much about that one. Um, yeah. So... If it's still available, I'll put a link down below. If you guys are fans of old school Shelton, um, old spice scent, check it out. Supporting a new, new kid on the block. So very good, awesome. This is very good. I like it. Very good. <laughs> good job, guys, at the uh, Hoffmans. And yeah, so that's it. That's the shape of the day, ladies and gentlemen. It was a good one. Oh, it feels good. Like with that splash too, you feel you feel it's got stuff. It's got more stuff in there, not just like the alcohol. It's got good stuff in there. Good skin food. Don't know what it is. Anyways, I'm rambling. So, hope you ladies and gents have a good day, good week, good shaves, more to come. Be safe. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> See you ladies and gents soon.